I'm going to be showing you how to actually make Afro Draw using my brand new drum kit, Fiesta Sounds. I've now got over 100,000 subscribers just from uploading Afro Drill, so I know that you're going to learn something from watching this video. Alright, let's just cut out the stems, get that ready to go, and then move on to the perks. Right, so what I'm doing here is I'm making little two bar patterns where I only fill up the first bar with percussion. That leaves me space to audition sounds and make sure my sound selection is right. In Afro Drill, there's a lot of layering. So when you're selecting your sounds, you want to make sure that they fit together perfectly so that you can get lots of nice layers. Like onions. Now that you've got your one bar pattern, you want to copy it over to make a two bar pattern, but then you want to group them together using Command G or Control G if you're on Windows. And then you want to make the first half slightly different from the second. Now when it comes to mixing your percussion, I'd highly recommend using a bus. I've got it set up so that the low, mids and highs are all separate. For the purpose of this video, I'm just going to be mixing them all in the same bus. So in drill beats, you'll be taking out the lows of your hi-hats or counter snares. But this is Afro drill and we're using percussion. So you want to keep the lows, you want to keep the low mids and raise the highs so that they stand out nicely. Now we're going to be sidechaining the kick to the perk bus so them low frequencies don't get in the way. Now the 808s are sounding good, we put a kick underneath it to bring it out a little bit more. Now I don't normally like making my beats in the key of C because of the 808, so I've got a sound shifter on the bus and I'm pitching it up to see which one sounds best. Nope. Nope. I would have liked to have pitched it up a bit more, but then the melody started to sound a bit weird, so we're going to go with C sharp. 
you might find this a little bit weird, but for my 808s, I take the bass out, and I keep the sub, and I raise the low mids. For this bit, I'm just adding fills, effects, and perk loops that add even more layers to the perks we've already got. I'm also chopping up the perk loop into individual sounds, and you'll see why when we come to the arrangement a bit later on. Right, now we're on to vocal chops, and I think it's important to keep the beat playing while you're auditioning your sounds. That way you get the sound selection just right. So now we've basically got everything we need to make a beat. So we're going to start with an intro and we're going to just take out a load of sounds. We're also going to use a lot of automation to take out frequencies so that we can bring them all back in at once on the drop. You can mess with things like octaves, reverb automation and EQ. Now for the intro I'm keeping a lot of perks but I'm deleting a load as well. I'm using EQ automation and I'm also automating the panning. I like the tension that it builds, and I think it's a good way for it to build up to the drop. So there's no right or wrong way to do the drop, but for me personally, I don't like the kick dropping on the first bar. So at the beginning of the third bar is where I have the first kick. So now that we're on the verse, we can make use of the fact that we cut up that perk loop earlier. We're going to randomly mute things until it sounds good and gives that less is more effect. Now take your time with this bit because it's important to get it right. It's not about rushing and getting out 50 beats a day. Spend your time and do quality over quantity. So now that you know how to make the intro, the drop and the verse, you just repeat the process, copy it over, make the second half a little bit different. And that's it, mate, you've got a finished beat.
Thank you.